Good morning, Dr. Hannon. Jean. You said nine o'clock. I'd like to be punctual. Well, actually, you're uh, five minutes early, but that's all right. Please come in. You've done your job admirably by bringing me here, Ms. Clegg. Now I'm quite sure you can find a seat in the lounge. Dr. Hannon, I think we need to get something straight. I agreed to bring the body back. You mean Vicky? I allowed her to return to Landview Hospital only because I did not want Victoria to reemerge in that dreadful casino. Nikki Smith enjoyed Atlantic City. Nikki Smith is an undisciplined slut who should never have been allowed to escape from here. Believe me, it won't happen again. Now, while you're in charge, as gatekeeper for the other personalities, that's your responsibility. Since you seem to know so much already, I will assume you also know that I have no intention of allowing you to tell Victoria the truth. I agree, Jean. The truth can't come from me. It has to come from you. Nobody cares about that, Briggs. They want blood, they want guts, and they want somebody to blame. Well, of course the cops are to blame. They weren't there to stop it, and they sold the kid the gun that shot Luna Moody. So go get him. Listen, Briggs, I'm here with my shark of a lawyer. He's charging me, like, by the second. So just find a headline and run it. I got an editor who is worried about what kind of a message we're sending. Can you believe that? Everything there? Everything. Blair disappears from your life as soon as you sign here and here. Todd? Yes. You said you wanted her out of your life and your bank account. All we need now is your signature. There's nothing to worry about, Todd. Everything's legal. Also, ironclad, I'm proud to say. Once you sign these papers, all your millions will be secure. Best of all, you never have to deal with your wife again. Not until I know she's all right. And if she can't wake up, she's not all right. Oh, my God, Dylan, you're hurt up. No. What happened? Are you all right? I'm okay. I'm okay. I tried to call you at the uh, hospital in Philadelphia. I know. I just got back a half an hour ago. What is it? Well, somebody please tell me. Uh, Luna, she got shot. Luna? Sweetheart? It's Max. But I don't need to tell you that. You already know. You know how much I love you. Thank you. 
me to tell Victoria the truth? That's preposterous. Depends on what you mean by the truth. You know perfectly well what I mean. Nikki Smith blurted it out to you. Nikki isn't here. You are. And it's essential that you and I share things too. Some things are best left unspoken. Anything said in this office will be kept in strictest confidence. Pretty impressive. No Heidelberg. Mm, sorry. All right, you have the right pedigree. And that Martinet nurse Clegg told me you're top notch. What can I say? She owes me money. You're a smooth doctor. I like that. Well, thank you, Jean. I like you too. No, you don't. I'm not likable. But I am a woman who keeps her word. If I discover that anything I've said in here finds its way out there, I will have to deal with you accordingly. Do you understand that? I would expect nothing less from Victoria's protector. Very well, then. You've asked me to define the truth, which we both know. When Victoria was a child, her father, Victor, sexually abused her, not once, but repeatedly. I'm sorry, Jean. I know it must have been Don't terrible. apologize to me. It didn't happen to me. Victoria was the victim. She's the one who must be shielded from the truth. You seem sure of that. She couldn't handle it then. She can't handle it now. Vicky has intelligence and strength. The kind that comes from experience. She's a mother now with children of her own who love her and support her. She has Clint and his family. She has friends everywhere. She's no longer that lonely, frightened little girl she used to be. So easy for you to say. She told me she wants to know the truth. But then you know that. Vicky has consented to have therapy, and she's invited me in on the process. She wants to get well, Jean. And the only way for the healing to begin is by letting her know the truth so she can begin to deal with it. Now, by keeping her in the dark, are you protecting her or yourself? I only exist to protect her. Then don't you think you owe it to her to tell her the truth once and for all? All right, all right. You gave it the office. I warned you, Todd. I told you I was going to get a receiving order to keep you away from me. But no, I come in here and you have changed the locks to my apartment. Now, I'm telling you something, Todd Manning. Hey, no, if listen, you do I something... hate to interrupt your little tantrum, but this only used to be your apartment. Ask Conrad. Who the hell is Conrad? Conrad Klein, the best divorce lawyer in all of Pennsylvania. Conrad, this is Blair. Hello. What are the two of you doing in my apartment? Get out. Get out. As I told Todd, contact between the two estranged parties should be avoided. It's all right, Conrad. I can take it from here. Todd, I... Fine. Give me a call if you need me. In the meantime, the less said, the better. Ugh, he's a charming guy. He'd make a great pair of cowboy boots. You're just jealous because he's not slithering for you. Oh, look, Todd, if you want to divorce me, do it. But don't use up all of our money on a high-priced oh, lizard. Our money? Yeah. Because I'm going to get everything that I'm entitled to when this goes in front of a judge. Because Pennsylvania law is very explicit. As an ex-wife, I am entitled to half 
of your $27.8 million you inherited from Daddy Lord. Oh. Can't argue with you there. That is, if I were going to divorce you. If? Uh, are you saying that you're not going to file for divorce? Well, how can I? You're not my wife. <laughs> what do you mean, I'm not your wife? Of course I'm your wife. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. I was there. I've got a marriage license to prove it. Yeah, well, I hate to break it to you, but once I sign these papers and a judge okays them, then you're not my wife and you never were. What? Marriage is a no. It never happened. You're not entitled to half of anything. In fact, you're not going to get diddly. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's all my fault. What? You can't blame yourself. Oh, she, uh, I told, um, Darlene about you and me. And she, she, she gave me this. And she said as long as I wore it, that, uh, my love would be protected. And then we went to Rhodey's. And I got a phone call from one of the arrows. Uh, <laughs> he, he said he needed help. And then after that, I, uh, I just set this down and I ran out of the name sink. And <laughs> he was, Luis was there. He was, he was waiting on me. And, um, I wish he could just pull the trigger when, uh, when I walked in. Uh, then he had to sit there and run his mouth and, and go out. And, uh, then Darlene, she came in, and I'll never forget the, that sound as long as I live, you know, I, she just, uh, threw down to the gun, and then she got hit, and I'm sorry for it to her. Please, stop, stop. And then, uh, the love. She came there to protect me. Because I forgot this. It's my fault. Hey. When did you get back? Don't you try to talk. I gotta get up. I'm gonna no, cook some no, breakfast. No, 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 no. Twins are gonna no, no, need. Twins are fine. The twins are fine. Tina is watching the twins, okay? Oh, yeah, that's right. Al's at the Millers with CJ, and mm -hmm. I left the babies with Tina, mm -hmm. so Dylan and I could go celebrate. And then he. Mm -hmm. Luna, Luna, uh, Luna, relax. Just Dylan, lie still. Just he, lie still. He left his crystal. Lie still. It's okay. I gotta it's okay. take it to him. Luna. He's got to be safe. They're scared. He had a gun. Luna, Dylan is fine. You hear me? Dylan is fine. The bullet just grazed his arm. He's, he's fine. He's, he's in okay. danger. I've got to. I got to get to him. This boy, they're all gone. Don't lie. He brings death. You can skip over all that legal mumbo jumbo. Just skip to the part about false representation. That's a fancy way of saying that if one party to a contract lies, there is no contract. That has nothing to do with us. No, you don't think so? Marriage is a contract, babe. And you lied. You told me you were pregnant so that you could get your hands on half my inheritance. Well, if so, pip so. The marriage is null and void and you get bucked. But, look on the bright side. At least you win the most pathetic contest hands down. Oh, I think that we share that trophy. I'm just sorry I didn't stiff you for more. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Did you think that I was going to crawl right under the covers and cry, Dad? Uh-uh. While you were away, I called an emergency board meeting for the board of directors of Melodor, and we voted in a new president. I own it. It's mine. Here, Todd. Have a chocolate. You know, the Swiss, they really know how to do it, don't they? 
chocolates, banks. Oh, did I mention that I just got back from Zurich? <laughs> Where all the Melador stock is and the cash reserves are stored safely in a private vault. Hmm. What's the matter? Lose your sweet tooth? I haven't lost anything yet. Excuse me, can you tell me how my sister's doing? She's just regained consciousness. That's good. Thank God, she's gonna be all right. I'm afraid your sister's not out of danger quite yet. Well, that's the first step. It's a good first step. Your sister suffered massive internal injuries from a hollow point bullet. I mean, frankly, most people couldn't even survive the surgery and made it this far. I can't imagine how she did it. No, I just... Caroline's tough. She's a fighter. She'll get through it. Well, I'm sure Dr. Wallach will give you an update as soon as he examines her. Larry, Larry, she was awake. She opened her eyes. She, she, she knew who I was, but then she remembered the shooting, and she got all upset, and then... She... Okay, all right. No, the, the anesthesia hasn't worn off yet, Max. And she's going to go in and out like that. That's good. The more she sleeps, the more her more chance her body has to fully recover. So, would you mind waiting outside just for a minute, Larry? Is she gonna be okay? Well, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Are you cold? You're shivering. No, I'm fine. But look, I don't want you getting run down, okay? I mean, you were up with Omar last night with Puma, weren't you? Well, not too late. She had some minor surgery, and then uh, she went right to sleep, so I put a cot for me in her room, and we drove back this morning. She's just getting so thin. I'll tell you what, um, why don't you go see her? Why don't you go pick her? No, 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 maybe later, when, uh... No, come on, Marty, I mean, there's, there's no sense in you really even being here. I mean, you can't see Darlene right now, and I, I'm gonna be fine. I promise you, I'll be right here. Okay? So I, she, I'm sure she'd love to see your smile. Right. Okay. But I, I'm on 5 South, okay? Right. Yes, I'm 5 South, so if, if you need me... Are you sure you're okay? It, yeah, I'm fine. I, I, I'll just grab some soup from that machine on the way. See you soon. Why do you want me to tell her the truth about her father? She worships him. She idolizes him. It would rip her apart. She's already in pieces. You're one of the fragments, a very important fragment. And you've done all you can to protect her, but some of the others have been erratic and destructive. You haven't met Tommy. Perhaps you'd allow us to have a conversation sometime. One doesn't have a conversation with Tommy. One ducks and hopes for the best. But he isn't the only self-destructive part of Vicky. Yeah, I know. Tori and Nikki, they're really quite a mess. Who was responsible for the fire at Landfair? Tori. I understand Jessica and Vicky almost died in that fire. We all almost died in that fire, but Tori didn't care because she's utterly selfish. And what about the attempted arson at the banner? Tori. Look, Doctor, you don't really need to concern yourself with the others. I will handle them. They outnumber you. What an obvious remark. I'm only trying to point out the fact that you are at a continual disadvantage, and some of them are determined to keep Vicky from reemerging. What if you can't keep in control? Are you really protecting Vicky by not allowing her to know that they're there and a threat? Look, Doctor. There's really nothing I would like better than to inform Victoria of the enemies within. But that's quite impossible, because we can't communicate. What if you could? What if the impossible were possible? Don't you tell me that the battery on your cell phone is going. You just tell me that you can do something about all this. Thank you, Conrad. I think you're so smart. You bet I do. Melador's mine. 
I built it. I dreamed it. It is mine. And I'm going to keep the Melodor offices, too, because my name is on the lease, remember? Fine. Just so long as you can pay the rent. Keep it. Suits you. Beautiful place. Beautiful to look at. But you know, when you get right down to it, nothing but cheap crap. Everything you touch, don't touch. I know, uh, I know one thing, Precious. The lease in this apartment's under my name. I get that out. And if I don't, what are you gonna do? Rape me? Hmm? <laughs> it's just your style, isn't it? Big guy. Some kind of big guy you are. Oh, my God. I thought you said her condition had stabilized. That's right. But the next few hours are critical. There's a very high risk of infection in situations like this. Is it okay if I go sit with her? All right, but if she comes to, try not to tire her out. Give her all the energy I got. No, I... So where's Marty? She's upstairs with that little girl, Paloma, the one of the AIDS patients. What about your arm? How's that doing? You should wear the, the sling they gave you. No, I'm fine. I'm Darlene's the one that matters. So. All right, I'll see you later. Larry. Yeah. It's uh it's pretty bad, isn't it? I mean when you when you say someone's critical, I mean that means critical as to life itself. She was gonna have a naming ceremony for the twins. <laughs> naming, what is that? So it's like a christening or something? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you know, a big party for them. It's funny. What? How people are always making plans like nothing's ever gonna go wrong. Luna? Luna, it's okay. Luna, it's okay. It's a dream. dream. Luna, Luna, wake up. It's a dream. It's just a dream, that's all. Just a dream. I saw the boy. Uh, listen, hey. listen to me, listen to me. Oh. The kid who pulled the trigger is dead. That must have been what the tarot card meant. Someone was meant to die, but it wasn't Dylan. Mm. Buddy, how, how did he get away? So, somebody else arrived at the community center, same time you did. His name's Antonio Vega. He saw the gun aimed at Dylan, and he shot the guy. Antonio saved his life. You know this guy, Antonio Vega? Dylan, Dylan offered him a room. And he always tries to make people happy. Okay, okay. Mm. It's enough talk about Dylan and enough talk about everybody else. Mm. You just close your eyes. No. I need to see my brother. Max, I've got to talk to Dylan right now. I've got to talk to him. There's a way for you to talk to Vicky. You can write her a message in this journal, and I'll make sure she sees it. Well, it's up to you, of course, Jean, but I thought you wanted to make contact with her. To warn her about Nikki and Tori. To protect her. Look, it's, it's, uh, it's just that we've managed to live for a long time quite separately. Would you say you've managed it well? I'll just have to work a little harder, won't I? Well, so will Tori and Nikki. And as you say, Vicky might be in danger from her enemies within. 
What if all the different personalities could function together? None of them destroyed, but all of them integrated into one woman named Victoria. Jean is a much less pretentious name. Possibly. But it's important to remember that none of the altars would exist if it weren't for Vicky. And she wouldn't have survived this far without us. That's right, Jean. You saved her life when she was that helpless child. Now it's time to save her again. Well, now that's quite a bargain you're asking me to enter into, isn't it? If I inform Victoria about the others, and if she becomes strong enough to stand on her own, then it's goodbye, Jean, because I'm expendable. No. You're part of her. You will always be part of Vicky. No, you say that now. You don't, you don't know that for sure. Jean, this notebook isn't a path to your destruction. It's a way of opening a dialogue. A way for Vicky to get to know you. All of you. You say you want what's best for her, don't you? Well, she'll know that if you allow her to know Jean Randolph. All right, I'll let her know that I'm here. And I will see her reaction. But don't get your hopes up, Doctor. This is a one-time thing. Then that's good news, right? Of course it is. It's great news. If Luna's regained consciousness... I know. Well, she time. made it through surgery, but she's still critical. And there's a real risk of infection. Larry said the next few hours will mean everything. Well, I've really come to know my sister-in-law, and with Luna and Lady, anything's possible. Amen to that. Uh, listen, I, I told Tina I would keep her posted if, if she'll excuse me. Mm. Oh, where's Dylan? Oh, uh, Luna. She was asking for him. No, I... Hey, Marty, when's the last time you ate something? Oh, okay. Now, come on with me. Let's get her. Okay, come on. Just sit down right here. This is so incredibly dumb of me. No, it isn't. I feel like crying, so you just go ahead. I feel for them and the pain she must be going through, and she must be so worried for those twins. But I can't help thinking about the what if. What if Christian's brother hadn't shown up what he did? What if he hadn't shot them? He's going to be dead. He's going to lost his too. You know what? Um, I can't let them see me like this. I'll be back. I must. I must look like a sight. <laughs> you look beautiful. You always do. You always were a lousy liar. I bet I looked worse that time I fell out of a hickory nut tree. When was that? That was the 4th of July. Oh, yeah. That's right. I was trying to hang paper lanterns. Uh, we called you flat face for a whole week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dylan, there's something Luna wants to ask you. A favor? Anything. Were you thank Antonio for me? Max told me that he saved your life. Tell him I'll... Tell him I'll always be grateful. I'll do it. Uh, can, you, can you do me a favor? Oh, well, I depend. Seriously. Look, I know you gave me this to protect me and my love for Marty, but um, I, w I want you to have it in here with you. And that way, every time that you look at it, you'll know how much you're loved by me and Max and... Al and the twins and everybody. Thanks. Let me know if they issue another update. Thanks a lot, Briggs. Well, Luna pulled through surgery, all right, but she's still listed in critical condition. I guess you're disappointed, aren't you? What? Oh, come on, Blair. 
tried to run her over with a pickup truck less than a year ago. I guess some punk with a gun tried to finish the job for you. Oh, um, go to hell. Hey, look, I'm not the one who's spending my whole life thinking up new ways to hurt Max and Luna. Well, I never wanted something like this to happen when I... When you what? I was... I was angry and bitter, and I told Max that I... I hoped that he would know what it was like to lose something important that I swear to you. I never wanted... Violence continued. Continues in Angel Square Police are battled. I bet it was getting related. Mm -hmm. Louise Rod. What is it, Blair? I guess sometimes there's justice after all. I can still see his face. That grand. You said there were two of them. Uh, the other guy's, uh... It's kind of a fog, but... The minute I saw the photograph, it... it says here he's been in trouble with the cops since he was 12. Five or six years later, he's dead. Sorry if I don't send flowers. He's got it down to the science, doesn't he? Picks a victim. Toys with her. Takes her purse, knocks her down. It's business as usual for him. One quick moment. I lose everything. My baby. You. I lose everything. Thank you, Jean. Perhaps I could be with Vicky now? Yes, all right. But do remember, I'm going to be monitoring her reaction very carefully. Thank you. Now, may I talk with Vicky now? Vicky? Everything is as it should be. You're safe. Ooh. One of the others was here. One thing. I'll explain it in a few minutes, but first, I have something I want to show you. What is it? A journal. One of your parts has left a message for you. There's nothing to be afraid of. You can open it if you like. No more visitors. You just, just get close your eyes. Just one close. more. I want you to bring Al to see me. Luna. You... Uh, listen, honey, he must be scared enough to do that. I want him to see for himself that I'm okay. 
All right. I'll tell Tina to bring him by later. For right now, you just close your eyes and get some sleep. I would fight it, but I'm too tired. Oh, it's so hot. Hot. Now. Hello. Yeah, she's here, but uh, I don't think she really wants to talk shop right now. Is it me? Oh. Yes. Yeah, Lila or something like that. I'll get rid of her. Just give me the phone. I'll talk to her. Todd, give me the phone. Hi, Junior. What, what are you talking about? I'm fine. Yeah. What? No, just talk to me. What? Yes. By all means, remove Todd Manning's name from the letterhead. Remove him from all of the stationery on Melodor. Hold sort down. I'll be in later. I'm going up to pack. It's not my handwriting. It isn't. To Victoria, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. I hope you know I've had only your best interests at heart and have done everything I can to take care of you. Sincerely, Jean Randolph. Jean Randolph? The name means something to you? Yes, ma'am. It means everything to me. That's my mother's name, Eugenia Randolph. Who is this woman? Who is this, this Jean? Come on, Lana, hang in there. You can do it, baby. Come on, you can do it. Just fight the infection. Just keep fighting. I don't want separate blood cultures from two different sites. What do you think, Jen? Yeah, Jen, 1.5 milligrams per kilogram every eight hours. We got to get a handle on this. Okay. It could go sour on us in any minute. Come on, Lana. Just keep fighting. Come on. Just don't give up. Just baby, don't. Look at them all. They're working so hard. God bless them. My sweet Max, he looks so pale. He's pale as... Still, it wasn't for Dylan, or even Luis Rodriguez. My death card was 